Good morning and welcome to Sunday School this morning, boys and girls. Today we're continuing in our lessons from the book of Luke, stories about Jesus and how he is telling people the good news. So in this story, Jesus had gone in a boat across the Sea of Galilee, and when he got across, he got out of the boat and he met a man who was controlled by evil spirits. Now, we don't think much about evil spirits in our culture today, but back then, that was something that they thought about, and they knew more about, they talked more about than we do today. So, but this is what had happened to this man. He had become controlled by evil spirits, and he had been living in the area of the tombs in the cemetery where they buried people because the people of the town were so afraid of him. He re- didn't wear clothes anymore, so that's probably one reason the people wanted to avoid him. And he was very scary, probably. He was shouting and uh, not very nice, and they didn't want to be around him. So they had even sometimes put chains on the man and guarded him and chained him down so that he couldn't do anything to hurt them. But he always was able to break out of the chains and run away. So at this point, now Jesus comes out of the boat and meets this man. And Jesus, as we know, is way more powerful than anything these evil spirits could do. So Jesus was not afraid of this man the way that the people of the town were. But the evil spirits were afraid of Jesus because they knew who he was. The man himself didn't know who Jesus was, but the evil spirits knew, and they were afraid. And Jesus told these evil spirits to get out of that man, to leave him. And it tells us in the book of Luke, in chapter 8, we're going to look at verse 28. It says, when, Jesus, when he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell at his feet. He shouted at the top of his voice, Jesus, son of the most high God. What do you want with me? I beg you, don't hurt me. Now, this is really the evil spirits speaking through the man. They can control what he says, and they're the ones who know who Jesus is. The man doesn't really know. But they called him son of the most high God. They knew who Jesus was, and they were afraid of what he would do to them. He told them to get out, and he was kind of afraid. They were probably afraid of where Jesus would tell them to go. But instead, they saw a herd of pigs on the hillside of this area where Jesus got out of the boat. And the evil spirits got an idea. And they said, let us go into those pigs. Send us into those pigs. And so, what do you think Jesus did? Well, he sent them into the pigs. Now, have you ever seen a herd of pigs? They're not the most pretty or furry or cuddly animals, are they? So it was this big herd of grunting, wiggling pigs. And when the evil spirits went into them, that whole herd of pigs came crashing down the hillside. Now, pigs have really short legs. They don't run very fast, probably. But they were running as fast as they could. And they ran down that hillside, and they jumped off a cliff. And they all died. And the pig keepers, the herdsmen who were tending this herd of sheep, and that was probably all of their income. They wanted to sell these pigs as food for people in the town. And so now all of their income is gone. They have no way to have a job. That was their job. And they were pretty upset and pretty terrified that this man, Jesus, could do something like this, could make this whole herd of pigs kind of go crazy. They were pretty shocked. And it tells us in verse 34, if you skip down there, those who were tending the pigs saw what happened. They ran off and reported it in the town and the countryside. So they went and told all the people in the town and the other towns nearby what had happened. It was pretty shocking and pretty amazing. And all of the townspeople came out to see for themselves what was going on. What were these herdsmen talking about? And there they saw the man who used to have these evil spirits, who used to be pretty much a crazy man, 
And they saw him sitting there very calm and very healed and healthy and wearing clothes again. That was good. And in his right mind. And they were amazed. But they really weren't very happy about it. They were still pretty afraid of what else Jesus could do because they still didn't really understand who Jesus really was. And so they really wanted Jesus to leave, and they asked him to go away, go to another town. So Jesus got back in his boat to leave, and the man that Jesus had healed came back up to him, and he said, please let me go with you. But Jesus had something else for the man to do. And it tells us in verse 39, Jesus said, return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away and told people all over the town how much Jesus had done. So Jesus wanted him to go tell people. And that's what Jesus wants us to do also. He wants us to share our story and share Jesus' story with the people that we live around and the people that we talk to and the people that we come in contact with. And when we do that, we can also make sure that people know that no matter what kinds of scary things happen to them in this life, that Jesus promises to be with us, and that can help us to not be afraid. So I hope that you will tell people your story this week and tell people not to be afraid because Jesus is with us. All right, I'll see you back next week for another story. Have a good week.